Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Rust here. Hope you guys have been enjoying the Garen buffs on 13.8. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about those buffs and actually try to decipher if they actually were impactful. Um, I want to keep this video kind of short because I feel like it's pretty concise. Uh, maybe you guys have observed some things in your games personally. I know some people have been telling me that they've been feeling the buff. Other people have been telling me that it's been insignificant. But let's go ahead and talk about uh, what I feel personally, impression-wise, and let's also look at some data too. Um, so here we go. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. I know you guys have been requesting this video. I've been seeing several YouTube comments asking for this. So I'm going to make this short, sweet, and to the point. So I think like with the Garen bust, if you guys don't know already, uh, Garen received three base attack damage and two armor. Not really that significant, right? It doesn't really feel like it's huge buffs, like game altering, game changing. Um, they're pretty boring. And I've been uh, saying this a lot. Other people have been saying it too. It's, it's a really, really boring buff. Um, but it doesn't mean that that type of buff is ineffective because there's been a similar buff given to other champions that have basically pushed or propelled or taken those champions out of the meta. Like a good examples of this are like ADCs, you know, when ADCs receive base uh, attack damage buffs, they actually really, really become stronger. A uh, good example of this, of this are Caitlyn and Graves. When they receive like uh, two uh, attack damage, it basically shakes up the game in such a cataclysmic way. Um, for Garen specifically, since he's very dependent on AD to be able to do damage because he's an AD ratio fuel juggernaut, base AD buffs can actually be pretty significant. But let's take a look at the numbers. Now, I know uh, specifically that there were only uh, a few days on the patch here, so everyone's going to be coming to me with the argument saying, Oh, Wrist, it's only the second day of that patch. We can't be looking at the, the sample size. Well, to that, I'm going to say, yes, we can actually look at the data a little bit. Sure, it's not going to be as big as 8, uh, 135,000 matches, but let's take a look at the numbers here. So Garen's global burn rate, average across all ranks right now, for 13.7, was 49.94%. Now let's go ahead and jump to 13.8 two days in. And automatically, we have seen a big jump in burn rate, automatically up to almost 51.5% win rate. That's pretty substantial. Now, granted, uh, I suspect that this is more so factored in because of the more so uh, the majority of these uh, 186,000 games played so far um, are played in low elo because again, Garen is more so a popular low elo champion than he is picked in high elo. And I know people are going to be probably yelling at me for looking at this small sample size and be like, "Okay, well, you got to wait for the patch to actually develop a little bit risk before you compare these numbers." But here's why. Here's what I'm saying in terms of that response um like this patch has most likely encouraged a lot of people to pick up garen for the first time and there's a lot of people who are probably returning to garen especially in low elo because of these buffs garen's an easy champion to pick up but there's gonna be a lot of people who are learning garen for the first time and as a result like if we have a lot of first time garen's being factored into the, this the sample size including uh mixed in with the mains the otp is dedicated it's actually really, really promising to see a win rate like this compared to like maybe a Kali getting buff, for example, and then people saying, oh, Kali's getting buff. She's really, really OP. She's going to be insane. This could be free low. Somebody locks in first time to Kali and does horrible. Tanks her win rate. We've actually seen this historically where champion gets buffed. Uh, that's among dedicated OTPs or have super, super high skill expression. And for a few days, their win rate actually goes down because there's a bunch of people jump to the champion. So for Garen to have all these new uh, newcomers and all these new Garen mains that maybe got forged over the last couple of days because of these buffs, as Garen's an e uh, easy to play advertised champion, it's really good to see his win rate go up like this. Now, granted, of course, let's go ahead and find uh, filter through the criteria here a little bit because I want to be able to show you guys exactly where these buffs are the most impactful. And some of you guys might have already guessed this that the buffs were going to be more impactful towards low elo. Unfortunately, the buffs that I suggested were not implemented. Um, and Riot Games decided to go for a universal buff that affects almost every single MMR. But as we can take a look at these uh, different MMRs here, it's it's evident that it's not affecting high low as much as low low. And let me go ahead and show you guys. So we'll start with bronze first. Uh, we'll see the difference between 13.7 and 13.8. You can automatically see there's a big jump there, almost 2%. That's staggering. It's like a silver here where we have almost an equal amount of matches. 13.7, 50% win rate going to 13.8, uh, almost up by 2%, basically 1.6%, I think, right? All right, uh, going into gold here, we're going to go 49% uh, uh, win rate and then jumping up to 13.8, 51%. So still really, really good. This is the biggest jump, I think, from gold 
specifically. Uh, the uh, buff of the Garen really, really helped out in gold. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but you know, this is this is going to be an MMR where people are still making mistakes in lane, but you know, Garen's pick rate falls off quite a bit. So maybe catching some opponents off surprise that the Garen is basically back and reinvigorated with some new early game buffs. So something like that, I, I would say, you know, it's pretty, pretty, pretty interesting to say the least. All right, let's go ahead and filter up to uh, Platinum here. Let's see what we got here. All right, so Platinum, we have 48.688% win rate. Uh, and then with the 13.8, this is where we start like leaning towards that high ELO spectrum, you know, Platinum 1, Diamond 4, you know, still a considerable jump to 50.41% in Platinum, which is still very, very impressive. So it looks like, again, the buff is helping out Garen's in almost any single MMR. But here's the true test. The buff actually impact high elo Garen. We're going to look at the filter through Diamond and above. So let's go ahead and navigate to uh, Diamond here. So Diamond uh, last patch was a 48.21% rate. This is where Garen starts hitting the, the, real, the real big humps. And we'll go ahead and uh, go to 13.8. And now an increase to uh, 40... 8.9 okay so almost a 49 percent more rate so that was like basically a 0.70 uh increase in the percentile here um it's okay it, it's it's uh not entirely substantial it's not like too impactful here but it, it is something but let's look at the higher tiers here and unfortunately of course that the uh the big uh disparity between this patch and the next patch of course is going to be the sample size and then we're going to have a bunch of random people on high yellow picking up the arm for the first time and doing absolutely disastrous with it so grant, uh, granted, my sample size comparison is going to be a little bit more jaded here, a little bit more jagged. But let's take a peek. We got 48.57% um, uh, for 13.7 in Masters. Let's go to 13.8. And it actually does go up by quite a bit. Um, I think it was a bit lower today that I actually plummeted. But now that we have dedicated mains and OTPs uh, filtering in this demographic, it looks like there has been a small increase. Although it looks like he's still struggling. We'll have to see how this develops over the course of the next few days into next week. But... Granted, it is something. Now, let's take a look at the high uh, tier ends. The Grandmasters, we're probably only going to find either dedicated OTPs or we're going to be finding people who are just flex picking Garen for some random reason. Uh, he had a 48.72% mum rate on last patch. Let's go to 13.8. Uh, and it is actually plummeted. Okay. Okay. So, um, not too bad of a sample size difference here. I mean, it's 1,500 games, so sizable, but at the same time, it's pretty telling too. How a lot of people maybe just jumped on the Garen bandwagon, although it remains to be seen if this number is going to go up or down, with all due respect. Um, lastly, we will put in Challenger here, where we're seeing a whopping 47.6%, maybe one of Garen's lowest numbers out of any MMR, and it's to be expected because we're playing at the top of the ladder here, uh, where you're dealing with people with a 1,000 LP, so people who really know their stuff. And then bumping it to 138 we see an increase to 52.61%. Now, this is probably from the dedicated mains, and uh, OTPs. And this number is looking really good. The sample size is small, but the number is looking really great so far. So could it be argued that the new Garen buff has been impacting Hilo? Possibly. The number does, the, the, you know, the numbers in uh, Challenger maybe do suggest it, although Masters, it seems a little bit lacking. Um, I myself personally, I do think that um, it's been a lot easier to farm under Tower especially versus uh, matchups like Jace. I played versus Jace like three times today. And I noticed too that there was a lot of mains under tower getting pushed in early that I would have missed if it wasn't for the buffs. So again, as I alluded to earlier, this buff is really good for Garen's economy, W stacks. It's rather helpful. And even uh, with only one or two points in spin, I do notice the increased damage on waves. So shoving's easier, especially for QMAX strategies. It's really good. So in conclusion here, like dissecting all these numbers, guys, um, like the buffs do feel... Uh, probably the most impactful early into the mid and late game you know you're not really going to notice any difference at all like these buffs are really facilitated in a way where you use that little extra advantage to be able to create a lead and hopefully from that lead you create that snowball if you don't create that snowball then well unless you're taking scaling runs you're going to be kind of up a creek without a demasian paddle so uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the buff so far. It's only been a few days in the patch, but I really feel like there's a lot to be told in terms of the grand story in which Garen's only buff for maybe this season will uh, pan out. I know that there's going to be a lot of people who ask me, I think, in the future, Rist, what if these buffs actually end up sucking? And Is Garen going to be eligible for another buff down the road? And I'm probably going to say to that in response, no, 
I don't think he's going to get buffed again. Not for a very long time. I think Riot's going to put a cap on this whole situation and just say, you know what? We're not going to touch Garen until next year when he's eligible for his skin. We chalk up a new skin for him and maybe we're going to do something touch related. Or if something really warps the meta to the point where Garen's going to plummet again, which I don't expect to really happen, especially when Riot Games is alluded to maybe fixing top lane, which, by the way, guys, a majority of Garen players do go top lane. So if anything, I, I think like in the Horizon... It's probably going to be better for him. I, I think the meta is heading, headed in a better direction for him compared to a worse direction. At least that's my uh, informed take on it. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the whole matter. What you guys think of the buffs, of course. And uh, how your games have been going. All right. So keep it this short and sweet. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next Tuber Duper. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. The Bossy, baby.